Hi friends, I hope that you are well and healthy and staying safe. I wanted to talk for a minute about the notion of authenticity or the notion of something being real. In the past few weeks, we have talked a lot about showing up and being present. And some of you have questioned, is the bar mitzvah going to be real if it happens on Zoom? Is the graduation real? Is the confirmation real? And when you look up the word and the definition real, it talks about something not imagined, something concrete, something authentic, something genuine. So I want us to challenge the notion of asking the question, is it real? Because the answer I think is yes. The experiences we are having in quarantine are different, but they are no less real. And I wanna quantify that by something that happened this past weekend as we celebrated 24 confirmands. Now we were to be in the sanctuary on the bima in white robes, I was to be cantor and mom, but instead on Sunday, I sat together in a pod with my family shoulder to shoulder, as so many other of our families did on Zoom. Sitting shoulder to shoulder was real. It was authentic. We were there and present. Listening to our students affirm their Judaism, speak extemporaneously or with the words that they had written to talk about their challenges and their struggles and their belief in their Judaism, in God, some of them, and in community, all of them. That was real. And for those of you on Sunday who had students graduate from college, maybe dressed in your houses wearing their cap and gown, was it the graduation that they imagined or that you imagined? No but it was no less real. It was no less authentic. Why? Because you were present. Because maybe you had loved ones sitting in the Brady Bunch boxes that we've become all too familiar with, bearing witness, observing. These moments, my friends, are real. They are authentic. They are not what we dreamed and they are not what we imagined but they're happening and we're digging deep into the wells of our soul to find the meaning and to find the beauty in these moments. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't mourn the losses of our dreams. We should, we should take the time out for that. But I also wanna challenge us to dig deeply and to recognize that the moments that we create now are unbelievably poignant, moving, authentic, and yes, real. The relationships that our students are forming with one another and with our community and with their Judaism is authentic and real. One day soon, friends, we'll be together and we'll be able to hug each other and celebrate all of these milestone moments, albeit not in the time that maybe they were supposed to happen. But when we can come together and celebrate our accomplishments, mourn our losses and be together in person, oh, how sweet and beautiful that will be. So until then, I challenge all of us to look at the experiences we're having and to know that they're authentic, they're holy, they're meaningful, and they can be extremely beautiful. Have a beautiful day, everyone.